Five exciting NBA players of the 2018-2019 season. My name is Joshua Enviers, and to fit this list, all the players have to be 22 years or younger. Let's start off with the most obvious choice to be on here, Jason Tatum. He's only 19. Technically, he's only 20 now, but that was the whole facade of last year's amazing Celtics run. A lot of Celtics fans were saying he's only 19 years old doing all this. A lot of the commentators, he's only 19. Now he's 20 and he's looking to have an even bigger year this upcoming season. He was the third overall pick last year and I don't feel like anybody expected this much from him this fast. He was able to average 13 points per game, 5 rebounds, and surprisingly shot a really good 3 point percentage when compared to his college basketball stats at Duke. His game definitely transferred over to the NBA and was a top 3 player in Rookie of the Year votes with Donovan Mitchell and Ben Simmons. The Gordon Hayward injury was a blessing in disguise for the Boston Celtics and now it looks like Jason Tatum just might be that second or first scoring option already with the Celtics, which is crazy to think about. Let's talk about another player in that said draft class and talk about another top three rookie of the year candidate in Donovan Mitchell, a guy nobody expected to have the season like he did. Looking back, last year was a really solid draft class and this year is going to have some trouble keeping up with that. Mitchell was able to score 20 points per game and average 3.7 assists and rebounds, all with being the 13th pick of the 2017 NBA Draft. There's a lot of teams that passed up on him, and he's going to prove why they shouldn't have, especially the Detroit Pistons. Man, I called Luke Kennard being a good fit for the Pistons, but I didn't expect Donovan Mitchell, really nobody expected Donovan Mitchell to be as good as he is right now being the primary scorer for the utah jazz and leading them to the second round of the playoffs donovan mitchell's story is an amazing thing to hear about and if ben simmons wasn't technically a rookie donovan mitchell's rookie of the year uh, would have been a lock for him last year we'll see how far donovan mitchell can take the utah jazz this upcoming season considering they didn't add another player to pair with him to help take the next step but maybe Another year of experience will help him take said step. Moving from last year's draft class to this year's, let's talk about Trey Young. He was drafted fifth overall by the Dallas Mavericks, but traded to the Atlanta Hawks with the third pick in the trade for Luka Doncic. And I know what you're saying. He's a rookie. How can it be exciting this upcoming season? Well, it's really a two-man race for rookie of the year this upcoming season, I feel like. But Trey Young could possibly be a third option and a dark horse to win it. Considering he does play for the Atlanta Hawks, he's going to be a starter for the foreseeable future. And the Atlanta Hawks aren't going to be good this upcoming season. Not yet. And with that being said, he's going to be able to score a lot of buckets and jack up a lot of shots. He was the NCAA's highest scoring player, averaging 27 points per game, 8 assists, 3 rebounds. And if any of that can translate the scoring at least, I could easily see him averaging 20 plus the entirety of this upcoming season. He's Steph Curry with the 40 inch vertical. How can you not be excited? Moving on, let's talk about another rookie and the man he was traded for on draft night, Luka Doncic. He has the ability to propel the Dallas Mavericks to actually be decent this upcoming season if he really is what the hype says he is. Last year, in his Euro League, he averaged 14 points per game, four assists, five rebounds, and what's most impressive about him is that he's a point forward in today's NBA he can handle the basketball very well he can shoot and he's the perfect size to guard multiple positions him and Trey Young's career are going to be intertwined for the foreseeable future because this was the man he was traded for did the Atlanta Hawks mess up for trading him for Trey Young we'll have to wait and find out but I personally feel he's the perfect fit to go with Dirk Nowitzki, Dennis Smith Jr., and DeAndre Jordan and I feel like those guys will surprise some people maybe not make playoffs but will be better than the worst team in the league, that's for sure. Last but not least, let's talk about Devin Booker. I feel like people don't talk about him enough and how young he is. He's only 22 years old, only 22, four years in the league. Uh, people should be hyping up Devin Booker as much as they hype up Jason Tatum, but maybe that's because he plays for the god-awful Phoenix Suns and they haven't been good in what seems like forever, but maybe it'll change in the next coming years. Each year, he continues to get better and better. Last year, he averaged 24 points per game, 4 assists, and 4 rebounds. 
I project them to have a big year this upcoming season. I even said in my uh, award predictions that I could easily see him being the most improved player if he's able to average from 26 to 28 points per game. Right now he's averaging 27, only four games played so far. But if he's able to do it consistently and play over 60 plus games, he's a shoe in With the way the Phoenix Suns have molded their roster, is he going to become the next James Harden? A scoring shooting guard that can handle the ball very well. We'll have to wait and find out just like how all these other players will develop that I mentioned. But these are my five players that I feel like are going to have an exciting season and you should look out for. Let me know in the comment section below what five players are you most excited to see play this year that are 22 years or younger. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Click on some of the videos on screen and share the video around. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.